Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Nagam Monchetti and Charlie State. Good morning to you. Now, time is 6.34. It is expected that the Bank of England is going to raise interest rates again today. So Hannah's going to look at all this. I mean, this matters a lot, doesn't it, for so many households. Yeah, and when you talk to people about interest rates, often they've not paid a huge amount of attention to what's going on until the moment when it really affects them. And then it can really, really affect you in that moment. Yes, interest rates have been on the rise for more than a year, making the cost of borrowing more expensive, but potentially benefiting people with savings. 4.25% is where the base rate is at now, up from a historically low level of just 0.1% back in December 2021. It's thought they'll go even higher this lunchtime, likely to 4.5%. That's because the rate at which prices are rising, also known as inflation, remains stubbornly high way above the Bank of England's target of 2%. Putting interest rates up is meant to discourage us from spending, which in turn should bring down prices. But that hasn't happened as quickly as many hoped. But what is concerning um, Bank of England is that inflation is becoming embedded in, in everyday things, like it's not amount of paper services. And so as the initial shock from energy starts to fade away, uh, inflation will still be around. Um, but what we are expecting is the bank to say that inflation will actually fall still pretty quickly through the remainder of this year, as some of the energy price shock that we saw last year starts to fall out of the headline inflation calculation. Now, higher interest rates will have an immediate impact on the more than 1.4 million people on tracker and variable rate mortgage deals. An increase to 4.5% would mean those on a typical tracker mortgage would pay about £24 more per month. Those on standard variable rate mortgages would face an extra £15 a month. That comes on top of the previous increases, meaning an extra hundreds of pounds a month for many people. 1.8 million people on fixed rate mortgages are also expected to need to remortgage this year. They too will face higher costs. In theory, these higher rates should be good news for savers, but banks have been accused of being slow to pass on the benefits, with people reporting little to no interest paid on many savings accounts. A committee of MPs has now written to the UK's major banks urging them to do more for savers. The advice remains to shop around for better deals. We'll get the bank's decision at midday today. And in the meantime, if you're worried about the rising cost of living, there's lots of help and advice on the BBC News website, bbc.co.uk forward slash news, where you can find the section called Cost of Living, tackling it together. Charlie, I guess, worth saying, we're not an outlier in this. They've been going up in Europe and in the US as well. But Lots of people will be watching today to see if this is the final time that they go up. Yeah, get, maybe get some hints from the statement. Thanks very much, Hannah.